Hello there, my name is Gary Kernahan and I am the Director of Fundraising and Business Development for Children First. Children First is Scotland's national children's charity. We support children and families all over Scotland through a range of national and community based services. Something that people might not know about me is that I appear to be one of the very few people that actually set out with an ambition of being a fundraiser. When I was younger, when I was 12 years old actually, I started to fundraise and volunteer on a regular basis from that age onwards. And in doing so, I met um, some amazing fundraisers, one of whom really encouraged me to to get more and more involved and I realised at some point along the way there that this thing I was doing as a hobby could become uh, could become my job so I kept myself incredibly fortunate that I now get to do something every day which I truly love and enjoy doing. My career journey started uh, with Cancer Research UK. I was actually struggling to get a job after graduating in the charity sector as I wanted to be a fundraiser and I was applying for jobs with charities based in Scotland and I was struggling to even get an interview despite having had loads of voluntary experience. So I started to look a bit further afield and um, I was lucky enough to get a job with Cancer Research UK as a community and events fundraiser in Manchester. So I packed up my life in Glasgow and moved south of the border and had an absolutely wonderful time working for Cancer Research UK. After a few years I got the chance to transfer back to Glasgow and I was seconded into a managerial position but sadly that position was short term and after an organisational restructure the job I was doing uh, ceased to exist so I had a choice to make. I could go back to doing the role that I was doing previously or I could try and build on this, uh, this new found experience that I had and was enjoying. So I decided to move on and was fortunate enough to get an opportunity to go and work for Muscular Dystrophy UK as the regional fundraising manager for Scotland but a short time after being at the charity the role of head of regional fundraising came up and I uh, took a chance, I threw my hat in the ring and was successful with, my, with the application and got the job and I stayed in that role for eight years and absolutely loved every minute of it and was exposed to some wonderful experiences along the way. At, after Muscular Dystrophy UK, I moved on to a completely new challenge with Think Consultant Solutions where uh, I was presented with a, a fabulously fresh range of challenges. I worked on four different interim assignments for some charities and delivered over 30, I think 38 different consultancy projects in that time. So that really stretched and challenged me in lots of different ways, gave me experiences of working on lots of different things. I did an interim role with BBC Children in Need and that was a great opportunity to work at scale, but also work in the world of television, which I'd never done before. I also did an interim role with Sue Ryder looking after their uh, seven hospice fundraising teams. Which, and again, I had never worked in a hospice fundraising before, so it gave me that opportunity, uh, which was fantastic. Uh, I, through Think, came in contact with Children First and joined Children First in March 2019 as their interim director of fundraising and then moved into the job on a permanent basis in January 2020 and have absolutely loved working with Children First ever since. And I think one of the key things that's helped me in my leadership journey has been the amazing mentors I've had along the way. When I first started at Cancer Research UK, I had an amazing manager, Edith Laidlaw, who encouraged me along the way. When I went to work for Muscular Dystrophy UK, I worked with the greatest fundraising director I've ever worked with, uh, Rebecca Day, who was absolutely fantastic and an, an incredible leader and then when I was with Think Consultant Solutions I got the opportunity to work with Michelle Chambers 
who is an incredibly driven, hard worker, but also taught me about self-belief and confidence. So uh, incredibly fortunate to have had some wonderful uh, influences along the way. In terms of what a typical day looks like, I mean, there are different challenges and opportunities every day, but one of the common things is people. I spend a lot of time uh, with people, whether that be staff supporting them and to deliver, whether it's colleagues we're working together to deliver for the organisation or speaking to donors and funders. I, mean, I became a fundraiser because um, I wanted to help people. So every day I do keep a close eye on our income and our performance indicators to get a sense of are we delivering, are we achieving? Because I know if we are delivering and achieving against those, then in this case we will be helping children and families. I used to think that a fundraising director had to be an expert in all different fundraising streams and I learned that it's not the case. You know, a great leader needs to be able to set a vision, they need to create a strategy, they need to take people with them. I've learned that you need to surround yourself with really excellent people, but to do that you've got to know your strengths and your weaknesses and you've got to be able to find people that will complement those, particularly your weaknesses. So I think great leaders um, create environments that breed high performance and success. It should be focused and ensure that you stay on track and you don't get drifting off in terms of your mission. I think it's important for a great fundraising leader to, to understand the cause and understand, understand the challenge that the people you represent face. Understand your donors and what excites and motivates them. And also really crucial to understand your environment. What are the trends in the world? What are the trends in the sector? And what will these things mean for your charity. So I think there's some of the uh, main traits, I main skills of a fundraising leader. In terms of advice that I would give to any aspiring fundraising leaders, the first thing I would say is believe in yourself. If you don't believe you can do it, nobody else will. Also, do the scary things. Get out of your comfort zone. It will uh, it will t absolutely terrify you, but these are the things that make you grow and will give you some uh, fantastic experiences. The third thing I say is get involved, look for some experiences, uh, look, for, look at the things that you currently can't do or don't know how to do and find opportunities to do them. Some of my proudest achievements are actually things not connected to fundraising. So, the fourth thing I would say is identify your gaps. You know, look at your CV, what, where are the skills that you're lacking, where are the experiences you're lacking and how can you go about getting them? Get some job descriptions for the types of roles that you would like to do in the future and identify the areas that you think you might fall short on if that job was to become vacant today. And then you know, have a look for mentors. Who are the people that inspire you? Who are the people you're impressed by? Can you learn from them? Can you get some of their time um, to make you better? And then the, the final thing I would say is never stop learning. Every day is a school day. We, we are never the finished product. So seek out those opportunities, welcome those opportunities to learn and keep trying to be better every single day. Thanks so much. I hope that sharing some of my insights and experience have been helpful. And if I can help in any way, please do get in touch. Thank you.